Hello, friends. It's me. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is me. Oh, well, I better take this seriously. Hi, guys. Long time no see. How are you going? Guess what? I'm back into the hobby in a big way. I took a break and I sold off a lot of stuff. I dropped two of my three shelves. And as you know, I sold a lot of stuff on eBay and you were all very supportive. And I really appreciate that. But the drought is over. The wait has come to an end. The hiatus is at a conclusion. I have completely lost my shit this weekend. I was a little bit stressed. My dad hasn't been too well. He's doing okay. But uh, the stress, you know, it caused me to go out and do a little bit of online shopping, as sometimes these things do. And I got a little bit chaotic, a little bit out of control. And I am just about to start a new army, and that's a Thousand Suns army. And it's gonna be based off the new codex with all the new models that are coming out. I've gone crazy on eBay. I picked up the Hell Drake, I picked up the Forge Fiend, the Mauler. I picked up some War Sphinx stuff and some Two Kings things because I'm gonna include a lot of Egyptian motif in this Thousand Suns army. And I've gone all out with Puppets War, with Cromlech, and with Anvil Industries. And I've gone to Max Mini and to Chapter House. And I've picked up all the extra bits that you can. Uh, and the Thousand Suns upgrade pack. And you know, a, a box of Dark Vengeance, and then some more Dark Vengeance. I've got Hellbrutes, I've got some Forge World, um, got some crazy stuff coming. Oh yeah, I am here, sorry about that. And uh, what else have I got? Like the, the Death Mater, um, some Obliterators on the way, and some other like Forge World Fantasy stuff uh, that I think really suits this look as well. We'll be doing lots of custom stuff, the heroes will be hopefully done in my uh, very dynamic style and I will be doing lots of conversion work as well and painting it to the best of my ability. I wanted to just kick it off by letting you know that I'm back and expect some like pretty frequent video diaries, some build diaries, some paint tutorials. People have been asking for tutorials. I don't know why, because uh, there's so much stuff, great stuff out there and I've never done one before, but hey, I may as well give it a go and uh, I'll put together a paint tutorial for you guys uh, on what I'm doing, some of the Plague Marine stuff. Meanwhile, have a look at this. This is just a quick check-in. I've got a link here up on the screen now. This is the guy who inspired this video, so go over, check him out, subscribe. He did a great tutorial on how you can convert the uh, miniatures from the Chaos Cultist pack that comes with Dark Vengeance. There's 20, 20 miniatures that come from the Chaos Cultist pack and 10 are the same, uh, so there's doubles for each of those, uh, excluding the two uh, HQs. And you can see them here, these named HQs who look pretty awesome. These sculpts are amazing. Just need to focus manually these days. I love these guys. Hope you're enjoying the, uh, the nice HD look as well. It's good to be back, bringing you the uh, photography. And yeah, we'll be doing this off my iPhone, I think. It's a little easier, a little faster to process. Uh, let me know how you think the quality is. I think it's still looking pretty good. So that's a you know standard HQ there and there. And I've got another duplicate set of these uh, these guys. So we'll look at converting these guys as well, making them more Thousand Suns. We've got a cold, so my nose is very blocked. Let me show you what I've been inspired to do after checking out that conversion video I mentioned. Let's have a look at the models side by side. I'm gonna show you the before and after. So this has taken a whole day. Uh, it took about two hours for conversions and I've spent the last six hours cleaning these models, these mold lines are not easy to get to, but that's only because the models are so detailed, so I won't complain. Uh, but it does take a lot of time. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight models, uh, nine models clean at this moment, and I've got 11 more to do, oh my goodness. But it's gonna be worth it. And then of course I'm gonna get 20 more and go crazy. And in the meantime, let me show you. So here are two models. These are exactly the same models. So as you can see, the bodies are pretty much the same, and we've just got a pose and weapon swap. So just a simple elbow cut there at the join on both arms and then we've got an arm swap there from the ball and the mace to the knife and the gun swap here. Uh, the gun is the same but it's just a different pose. Okay so that's what I would call a B conversion. It's when you change the angle of the body so you're changing the pose and you change something else like the weapons um, so that it doesn't quite look like the same guy but the head is the same, the body is the same. So then you'll probably just pose them differently on the bases and hope for the best. Okay, so that's why it's a B, because there's A, B, and C. Let me show you a, uh, an A, because I, I think I've gotten rid of all the B, the Cs. The Cs are when you just convert the pose. Have a look at these guys. Um, so, whoop, nope, that's wrong. I did that wrong, here we go. Have a look at these. So before, that's your standard guy before. 
okay, with the mace in one hand, the gun in the other. And then this is after. So, same body. This is why it's an A, because I've changed the head, I've changed the pose, and I've changed the weapons, okay? So three things have changed. Maybe I should call it a C. Anyway, who cares what it's called? So this is a complex conversion. Uh, well, you know, it's, it's standard conversion. And got an, an arm angle there at the shoulder, an arm angle here at the joint, uh, at the elbow, and then a weapon swap uh, on the right hand side, and a head swap. And this guy with a little bit of green stuff, just a tiny titch of green stuff to bring him back. Uh, otherwise, he is good to go. Good thing about Chaos is that they can look a bit messy like Orcs. Um, but this, are, this unit here, there's not going to be a single character that looks like the other. Um, of course, the fourth thing you need to do, which is what Games Workshop does with these units, is paint them differently. In which case, in most of the examples I've seen, they invert the colors. So if it's a blue jacket on one it's a, and a brown you know, skin tone, then it's a blue skin tone on one and a brown jacket on the other, that sort of thing. Uh, uh, so this guy here, same body, different head, different weapons, a different arm pose. So very different looking miniature. Uh, from the same kit. Okay, let's have a look at this guy. I'll go through in detail. If you don't want to watch, you don't have to. I'm going to try and make these updates as detailed as possible. So, same body, different head, okay, different pose, and you're good to go. Elbow cuts, weapon swaps. That's why you got to take your time with this stuff. There'll be gaps to fill in sometimes, so you will need green stuff. Alright, so this guy is the before, he hasn't been touched. And then look at him after. So we've got a head swap. Okay, so different head, torso change, different angle. We need to fill out any green stuff, gap it up a bit. And he's carrying the weapon in one hand. So different arms, different different head change. And uh, he'll have something in his left hand. But uh, yeah, I mean he looks like a different model pretty much. So that's great. That's how you do. Gotta thank, gotta thank uh, the gentleman for the tutorial. And uh, which is where I got most of these ideas from. So again, here we go. So different body, torso shift here afterwards, head swap. And uh, instead of dual guns, it's single guns, makes a big difference, same outfit. And he's carrying a banner in one hand, okay? And that is just, uh, that banner is taken from uh, just some bits I had laying around. So you, you will need to, when you take the guys who have single hands, uh, sorry, when, they, when they're carrying a single weapon in both hands, you'll need to find extra hands once you've liberated that left arm. Uh, I found mine from the Empire kits that I have left over. Very different looking model, same body. Okay. Oh, did I just see a mold line? Not after all that work, I did. There you go. That's why it's good to have it in front of the camera. I have to remember that. Uh, and yeah, if you're wondering that I haven't cleaned these models on the uh, left, that's why there's mold lines. Same, uh, same body, torso shift, big angle difference. He's facing the other way. Have to green stuff that up. The massive arm shift there, which is a bit of a tricky one because it, you know it's, a, it's difficult to figure out where to place it. But I've, I've chosen to go a little bit more forward on the body. Maybe I'll shift it back a titch, but that'll require some green stuff there and the head swap. Gosh, you'd be surprised at how easy it is to swap the heads on these models, considering how detailed the sculpts are. But they swap out really well. They'll just need a bit of green stuff on the cloaks. All right, a bit of a funny looking sword, but we'll probably hack that apart and make it into more of a shiv. And of course, we'll rust it up and make it nice and detestable and gross. And let's see, uh, what have we got here? Uh, before, I haven't quite finished cleaning these guys. Oh, so no, I've been mold cleaning the guys on the right, that's right, uh, on, the, on the left of your screen. And uh, so there we go, so a head swap here and an arm swap just like before. And he's just holding his fist, and that fist is from the Empire kit. This guy obviously needs to be cleaned up. Let's have a look at what we've got here, the last guy. So this is the, uh, oh, I have no idea now. This is before, you just imagine, he's got his gun. There we go, that's the right one. I was missing the other guy's gun. So there, and then I've got a head swap, and looking the other way, and a gun swap. Like an arm swap up there with another new head. So there you go. Uh, so every single character in this set is uh, converted. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. One half of, of the characters in this set have been converted. So only 10 characters got converted to make that difference. Uh, and so I now have 20 distinctly different characters. That's what I was trying to say. So it can be done. Uh, turning 
20 characters where there are two duplicates, uh, the duplicates all the way across into 20 unique characters. It took about three hours. Uh, I was watching movies while I was doing it, so it was a bit slow. But now I have to mold, clean the mold lines off the bottom row, and then we'll base coat. Uh, and like I said, I've got 20 more coming, so that's gonna be fun. But I can't wait to show you my Thousand Sons. Can't wait to see them myself, experiment with the different headsets from Cromlech and from uh, Puppets War and all that cool stuff. And uh, I hope to see you with an, very, an update very soon. Lots of shout outs need to be done as well. So I'll do a shout out video very soon too. Um, and of course some updates on the Plague Marines and all those other projects you've seen coming along. Uh, hopefully this will be my army. I'm really excited about Chaos. I'm really excited about Thousand Suns and I'll stick with it. And uh, we'll work on the, the tech stuff that I was doing as well. Uh, we can probably build that into the narrative, maybe even convert some of those models back into chaos. We'll see how we go. Anyway guys, uh, thanks so much for watching, it's been a long video, uh, and I will talk to you soon.